everyone, I'm Charlotte and this is The Daily where we talk all things skincare, fashion, fitness, and nutrition for women over 40. Today I've got another Walmart haul for you. I have several outfits that I'm gonna kind of mix and match and um, I will list and link everything that I'm showing you today in my description box. So remember to click through my links and it's easy shopping for you, but it also supports my channel. It does give me a little kickback each and every time you purchase through my links at no extra cost to you. So I'd like to mention that. Hey, if you're brand new to my channel, I want to extend a really big welcome to you. I'm really happy that you're here. I do hope that you will stick around, hit that subscribe button, and join this community of women because we have a lot of fun around here. Without further ado, let's get started. <music> I showed you a couple weeks ago. These are the No Boundaries. It's a junior's brand, so you always want to size up in No Boundaries. These are mostly cotton shorts, so I would say that they do shrink just a little bit. These are a size five. You do want to size up several times in No Boundaries. And I also purchased a size seven. So it really depends on how you want your shorts to fit, but I really like the length of these shorts. These are a cargo style short with an elastic. It has an elastic band on the back, and then it also has a workable button and a zipper. So these are really cute shorts and I just love this matchy matchy denim look. I just have it paired with a adjustable strap, just a basic white tank top with this jean jacket by Time and True. I sized up to a medium in this. This is a light wash. Maybe it's considered a medium wash. I will list and link. This is just a really pretty crisp spring and summer outfit. And these are little shoes that I picked out from Timu. So I'm gonna link my video right here. And if you are interested in um, anything that I showed you from Timu, I will list those videos, but these are the really cute tennis shoes that I picked up and I think they go great with this outfit. I don't have any, um, any shoestrings in these right now. I just, they are just slip-ons as far as I'm concerned at this point. Um, the, the shoestrings did fray and I thought I would just replace the, the shoestrings. Although I just went ahead and took them out completely. I think they're really nice just to be able to slip these on and they're so white and um, they have a little bit of a blue accent, so I think they go really well with this denim outfit. I'd love to know what you think. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and show you the back of the shorts in case you missed them a couple weeks ago. These are winners for sure. Oh, by the way, this is a Team Moo watch. <laughs> love it, love it. Isn't this a sporty look? I am just loving this. I'd love to know what you think. By the way, these shorts do have belt buckles and the wash is so pretty yes. and bright. The jacket is a beautiful wash and this is just so super nice. This is a size medium and I do like the way that it fits. So I did, I did wanna mention that. I didn't really talk about the jacket too much and I think it's important to do so because you know, um, wherever you may live, it can get a little bit cooler, you know, um, in the evenings, right? Or maybe it's not quite warm enough at this moment to not wear a, a jacket. So this is a really good jacket and it really does um, kind of look like spring and it would just, you know, go right into summer for you. These are earrings, by the way, that I purchased from Walmart that are just a simple gold hoop with some flat kind of design. I'm really pleasantly surprised with this outfit, how classy this outfit looks. These are Sofia Vergara shorts. They are a faux leather short and they are that really, really soft fabric. I would consider these a high-waisted paper bag sort of short. They are a kind of a cream color, maybe a little tan, and they have nice pockets and they have a nice little removable sash tie that's the same material. I love the length and I did purchase these in a size two. So these fit so well and I think they go so well with the Sofia Vergara ribbed V-neck top with these flutter sleeves here. I mean, this is such a beautiful top. It's kind of a cream color and it does have really, really large ribbing on it. But I just think that the outfit, the neckline, I just think that it's such a pretty classy looking outfit. Now, these are Sam and Libby heels. They are strappy heels and I will bring them up close in a moment. However, this outfit is a real winner and I'm gonna turn around and show you. The fabric, the material on these is so, so nice. And I just think that it's such a nice, light and bright outfit for spring and summer. I'd love to know what you think. Okay, so these are the Sam and Libby shoes and they have a beautiful design right here at the band at the top of your toe. 
I do think that they run a little bit big. I think I would probably have sized down to a, an eight. These are a size eight and a half and they do feel like they're a little bit big. And I don't love the strap. I found that it was a little difficult to tighten this around my ankle to where this didn't look loose. Tighten that strap. I guess you can, I'm, I'm saying that you can do that. So you can tighten the strap here to where it fits your ankle and then you can strap it around your ankle just like this. Non-slip bottom, as you can tell, they have that little Sam and Libby type of and right there in the gold embellished. So they're a really pretty shoe. And if you don't mind fiddling with the strap just a little bit, these might be for you. And um, they seem to be well-made. They seem to be um, adjustable, so you can adjust these to your ankle. And um, like I said, I would probably size down a half a size if you do purchase these, just because I do feel like they run a little bit big. Um, but other than that, they're really pretty. They have a uh, gorgeous detail and definitely a different looking shoe. All right, now I have a Sofia Vergara peplum style top and this is an off the shoulder top or you can also wear it on the shoulder. It does have an elastic neckline. So you have options here. This is such a beautiful print. This is the same print as the dress was in last week. It's that abstract print with all the beautiful colors. It feels like it's probably a polyester. I will list the material on the screen. It has elastic around the wrist. As you can see, there's a couple, a couple tiers of the elastic. So it kind of gives a little detail. This is a peplum style top and I probably wouldn't wear this top like this with these shorts, these are high-waisted shorts. When you wear a top like this and it's a little bit too loose, it almost lends itself to a baggier style. You almost have to see where it's cinched in at the waist. So I would probably probably tend to tuck in the peplum with these type of shorts and give it just a more of a high-waisted look. That way it kind of draws in the waist. And just so you know, you can remove this belt as well and put your own belt on. Um, I think a gold detail belt would be beautiful with these shorts. I'm gonna tell you that I think that these shorts are real winners. I really do, they are so comfortable. Like I said, I picked a size two and they fit beautifully. I'm gonna show you a black pair momentarily, but these are such a beautiful length. And by the way, I did pick this top up in a size small. It does fit really, really well and um, you know, you don't want to run the risk of having something baggy with baggy. So that's why I would probably tuck in this peplum style top. You may not want to wear this together if you don't like the look of what the peplum is doing here. However, you know, these shorts would look great with a tank top and a blazer. I'm going to show you that look in just I'm going to go ahead and show you this just in case I don't have time to try it on. It is the same top as this. So there's the center of the top right there. It has a little detail with the peplum. And uh, this can either be brought up on the shoulders or kind of sit right on your shoulders, just like that. So it's really pretty. Uh, I think these go better with, um, you know, more of a fitted bottom. And if you do have a short on with any type of detail at the top, you wanna tuck this in. You might be able to tuck this in too, depending if you like the look, but this is the other color that this top comes in. I picked this skirt up in a size medium. This is in the brand NYC Madden. It's a junior's brand, so you typically want to size up in this, and I sized up to a medium, and I really think it's a little bit too big. However, you get the idea. Uh, I would probably size down or get your normal size in this skirt. This is a really thin, uh, faux leather skirt and it's in that cream color so it's very very pretty bright and spring and summery it has a little slit here and um, I think it's a really pretty skirt I just think that I, I did purchase I did pick up the wrong size it has a zip in the back but I went ahead and paired that with the Sofia Vergara top I think this looks a little bit better if this skirt was a little bit tighter I think this look would be gorgeous it would be a really really pretty spring and summer look I did pair this with the same shoes that I had on earlier I'd love to know what you think. And I'm gonna show you the skirt in just a minute. Here's the Madden NYC skirt. I wanted to bring it up close just to show you how thin it is. This is in a size medium. Again, this is a junior's brand and I would tend to suggest that you size up in a junior's brand. But this skirt, I sized up to medium and it was definitely too big. So it's a really soft faux leather material and it's really, really thin. So I hope that that's coming through how thin this material is. 
It seems pretty comfortable. I did feel a little warm in it just because um, this type of material sometimes will kind of keeps the heat in, um, but you're gonna get that with a faux leather typically. There's certain ones that haven't been that way as much, but I'll let you know if that's the case. There is a zipper, same color zipper as the skirt in the back. If this fit, it would be a really pretty silhouette, I think. So size down, the stitching all seems to be really nice. It seems to be well-made. However, it is a thinner fabric. So a little slit there and, and it, it feels a little stretchy as well. So that's nice too. So a comfortable type of skirt. I had paired the Sofia Vergara top with this skirt. Now I showed you a skirt like this last week. However, it was from Amazon. And this one is the one from Walmart. It is a beautiful length and it's such a pretty color for spring and summer. It has a little detail, kind of a, a diagonal line going across the front of the skirt. It does have a zip in the back and it's just a beautiful length. And I did go ahead and pair this top tucked in with this skirt. I think it's so pretty. This is such a beautiful top. I am loving the neckline. I think it's so feminine and I love the color. It's so beautiful paired with these slides that I purchased from uh, Madden NYC. And I just think that you could, I mean, you could certainly wear any type of um, heel with this outfit. It's so cute. And I'm gonna show you this outfit with a blazer as well, but this is so gorgeous. I think that this top and the skirt is a winner. So just so you know, um, this is a size medium top and I'm glad that I didn't purchase it in a size small because I do feel like the, the, it fits really well. I really do like the way that this top fits on me. I think it's really versatile. You could wear this top with so many different things. So, I also think that this top was so lovely with the faux leather shorts that I showed you by Sofia Vergara. So if you're in between whether you want, you know, the faux leather skirt or the Sofia Vergara shorts, I think either one would be really nice and um, you wouldn't go wrong with either one of them. But this is so pretty. I'd love to know what you think. I kept on the same skirt, same shoes, and I put on a linen type blazer. I think this is so pretty. It's almost a monochromatic type of look. This is a scoop blazer that I found a couple of years ago, um, but I will link something very similar. But I'm giving you an idea of how you could pair this skirt um, you know, you could wear it and, and make it look completely different. So I'd love to know what you think of this look. I really, really happen to like this one a lot. I was a little skeptical of it at first, the shape of it before I put it on. I will leave my measurements in the description box. This is a racer back style, as you can tell. And um, it is a really nice kind of a scoop neckline with these buttons that really do work. These are the type of buttons that you can feed through so you can unbutton just like this. It's a really pretty color. It's kind of a tan color or a maybe nude color. And it's a thicker fabric. So it's got some stretch to it, but it's not super thin. I am wearing a racer back style bra with this. So it will fit the taller torso as well. Um, anyway, I had no problem just kind of tucking it into the skirt. I think this is a great look, but just to top it off, to add a blazer to this outfit, this would be really office appropriate. I mean, if you like to wear <laughs> faux leather to your office. This is a really pretty classy type of look and I think it is um, definitely one that works for spring and summer. I'd love to know what you think. This is just another way to style this faux leather skirt because I always think it's best to bring things close up to the camera so you really have an idea. Now this is the Walmart skirt and it has a nice nylon type of lining all the way inside okay so it's a really nice lining and um it does have a nice zip in the back but i thought it was really important for me to bring this up and show you um all of the detail really nice this is about 12 dollars, maybe 13 i will list a link hoping i'm quoting you the right price but this is super affordable and super nice for summer and then the other i i did purchase this one in a size small just so you know and there aren't any buttons, it's just one half zip, just like that, called Rioria. So you may have heard of them. Do you see how when I saw it, I was a little bit, um, you know, I really didn't think um, that I'd like it <laughs> once I put it on. This is just a really nice one. I mean, I think it would really fit a lot of uh, torso lengths, do you know? Um, it's not going to be one of those that like, just restrict you, do you know? I think it's gonna be a really, it's really substantial too. It's not real thin. So, and there's some stretch to it and there's also some ribbing. So it does have two snaps 
at the bottom and it is a bracer back style. So really pretty, um, size medium. I think that I would keep a size medium. Yeah, you know, so go ahead and size up in this one, I would imagine. Um, take a look at the sizing chart, that might help. Now these are the other Sofia Vergara shorts. Same shorts, just a different color. These are size two. They have a removable sash tie, just like the others. They have a belt, some belt loops so you can wear your own belt. I love the length of these and I went ahead and paired them with some strappy sandals. And um, I think that this is such a pretty look. It uh, This is just a no boundaries ribbed basic tank top. I always um, try to link these because I link these so many times because they're just such a great basic to have. Um, and they come in so many colors, like a pack of four to five for like, I don't know, it's, it's very, very reasonable. So I'll link these as well. These are in a size medium and you know, you can get several colors, just great basics to have. And then this is a scoop. This is a scoop blazer. And I picked this up last year as well. However, I will link a blazer, but I do want you to see just what this outfit could look like. I think this is so pretty. It is such a classy look. And you could zhuzh it up a bunch, depending on the jewelry that you've decided to wear. Um, you could definitely wear a, you know, a beautiful necklace and some nice jewelry at the wrist and some beautiful earrings. Um, you could see just how you can really, really dress this outfit up. But I'd love to know what you think. I'm going to take this off just so you can get an idea of what the tank top looks like under the blazer. These are really great. They do not have adjustable straps, but I think that they really, um, I don't know, it's, it's a stretchy type of fabric. And this is a medium. I will list my measurements in my description box, so if that helps you at all. And then just throwing on a blazer is so pretty. But these shorts, so cute, so cute. They don't seem as shiny as they do when I'm looking into the viewfinder, they don't seem this shiny in real life. So um, I don't know if that's a thing. These shorts would look great with like a, a cami, like a lace cami that um, maybe had a pop of color. That would be gorgeous too. But I'd love to know what you think of this outfit. It's very classy, looking nice for spring and summer and going to dinner and something like this. I think it's so pretty. I'd love to know what you think. Can you hear Ralphie? I'm sorry if you can hear Ralphie. I intended to try these shoes on for you guys, but really it didn't, they didn't really go with many of the things that I wore today, um, but I do want to show them to you. So these are the time and true, you know, they always seem to come out with a, a new style in this wedge. You know, this time it has a braiding going on and it's really a pretty braiding. I think there's like um, a couple of different browns in the braiding. So I like that a lot. This is that you know, canvas kind of bottom. The thing I don't like, I really think it, it really cheapens the look of a shoe like this is when they have that really white sole. I don't know why they do that. I think that, um, you know, they could have just made it maybe a shade darker, but that just, to me, that seems, I mean, it's a little cheaper looking than I would like. And they've done that. I mean, they do that occasionally and I don't really like that. You know, this has memory foam here, a nice strap, with a buckle. I think these are pretty true to size. They have a nice non-slip grip, which is nice. $24.98. I would also say each shoe seems a little heavy. Now, I don't think that it's gonna be crazy heavy when you walk, you know, when you're, you know, stepping, but I don't know, just, just, just holding onto these, they feel a little heavier than I think I would like. Just to show you that, and, and these are, like I said, the um, shoes, I don't know, this year's shoe. So those are cute. Those would probably go with a lot of things. The black option is this here and you know, the shoe's not quite as high as like two years ago. I really, really love the wedge shoe that they came out with two years ago. And I love that. I own that one. I showed that, I have shown that so many times, but it's not really something that I should just show all the time because you can't get them anymore. <laughs> But I do want to let you know that, for one thing, this is flipped around in my ear. That it is a little bit shorter than a couple years ago, and I love the height of them a couple years ago. So if you're not one that loves to walk around in really tall, you know, wedges, these are really nice. I mean, they are a little bit heavier than I think what I would like. 
Um, they do feel like a substantial shoe, but it does have something to do with that rubber sole, I think. It's just, it feels heavy. But the braiding is really pretty. Do you see? I just didn't really feel like they went. It would definitely dress this outfit down if I had these shoes on. Um, and I just don't like the white sole. These are the shoes for this year and um, just wanted to show them to you. I'm sorry I didn't put them on, but they are your typical wedge, but they're a little heavy. Okay. Well, that was all I had for you today. I hope that you found some inspiration for these warmer months coming up. Remember to like this video if you like content like this. It really does let me know that you enjoy these type of videos as well as it helps my algorithm. So that's supporting my channel and I appreciate all of you. Um, if you have any comments, remember to comment below and I will get back to you just as soon as possible. And until next time, God bless you.